is up guys mr free coiner coming back to you again i hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves and you're not too freaked out over this whole virus thing you are being smart you're not hoarding anything um i think in the things that are happening we're making things worse than they really need to be um me personally i have been absolutely fine uh, just working i've been working through this whole thing still uh, still doing so and i hope you guys have not been severely impacted by this uh, if you are you are you know i hope you guys are taking advantage of the things the provisions that been that have been allowed or provided to us and uh, you are taking care of your families you know you're not suffering um, yes, I, I do have to apologize for my absence here. Um, just to be honest with you, with everything going on, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, this today is the first time I have really even been in front of my computer, uh, doing much of anything, to be honest with you guys. I honestly have not sat down in front of this computer in a solid uh i would say three weeks honestly i've been doing everything either on my phone or um uh, you know i have another laptop in my uh in my bedroom this is actually in my office so yeah i uh <laughs> it, it's just been it's been difficult uh just watching all of this happen uh, the way people are acting the fear and just the chaos that's been going on. I think people are now starting to see that possibly things aren't as bad as, as we've been told. Uh, me personally, I highly question anything that comes out of the MSM. You know me. I've said that many times. And uh, that's just the way I feel about it. Um, there are a lot of things I'm I have been wrong about, but... To be honest with you, there are a lot of things I've been right about. I told you, told you guys more pain would be coming, and here we are. Okay, um, now, however long this is going to last, um, who knows? But it looks like they want to open things back up uh, starting May first. I know some uh, states and uh, you know governors are. Uh, going to go ahead and move forward with it. Some are looking to hold back a little longer. Um, me personally, I think it's just it, it's it's just honestly very silly. Um, now, me, I don't know anyone who's been affected by this. Me personally, uh, to be honest with you, I don't know anyone that knows anyone. It's always uh, for me just kind of third hand. Um, knowledge of it or someone who has actually been dealing with it now again me person I, I i'm not saying that uh, this isn't a real issue it's just that i haven't uh seen all of this uh but i mean the fair side of that is i don't know anyone with the flu <laughs> right now who has even had the flu so uh again that doesn't mean that these things don't necessarily exist it's just uh, it kind of tells me that possibly things aren't quite as bad as uh, as as they may seem. Okay, so uh, I guess if I have to say anything, uh, just just be wise about how you react and you know the information that you accept into your psyche. Um, a lot of times, the fear that comes along with it is just, in my opinion, not worth it. Uh, so anyway, moving on. Just a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, one is here, as we can see, the whole thing with uh, XRP. I mean, we it's been having a hard time breaking past 20, 20 cents. Um, and um, also, things have been really hard. Now, to be fair, across the board, um, pretty much every coin is having issues. The whole market is just suffering along with the stock market. There are a lot of things going on in the background, though, guys. Um, there's a lot of opportunity 
that's really open right now. Um, it's the investment phase right now. If you have the ability to invest, this is the opportune time. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into this stuff. I mean, because like I said, it doesn't really. It seems to do more harm than good whenever I whenever I mention anything that's outside of uh, you know pretty much just talking about XRP. So um, you know, you guys might want to do some research. Uh, look for the things that you might want to get involved with. There's a lot. Uh, again, the economy is about to switch over. If it hasn't already, um, we're going to a gold back uh, system. I mean, buying physical gold and silver is definitely not a bad idea. Uh, several other things that are, you know, like I said, that are happening. Uh, just do some research. A lot of people are going to poo-poo things that are out there and that's just the nature of everything there's always a negative voice out there always uh, I personally I don't let anybody's negativity affect me in fact if you have anything negative to say I'm just gonna ignore you uh, I, I don't care people have a lot of things to say I don't ever even when people put their silly little responses or comments on the videos I just ignore them you know, if you don't have anything positive to say, then that that's fine. I mean, I like again, I don't have anything. Uh, you know, I don't have anything against someone uh, disagreeing with what I say. That's absolutely fine. I, I may or may not respond. You know, but if you're being negative, I'm not gonna even delete you. You know, unless you're just really saying something stupid. Uh, but um, all in all, you're going to get ignored. That's just what it comes down to. So, anyway, um, something I wanted to show you guys here. It says, data shows XRP's community is dissolving fast. What's behind the trend? Um, obviously, we know what's behind the trend. A I think a lot of people uh, altogether are abandoning crypto, okay? Especially with uh, what's going on. And then, again, I mean, there are people that are leaving crypto because they have to, because they need the money. There are other people who are buying crypto to protect their assets, possibly. I mean, uh, we know where the world is going. We know where um, we're going to a digital system. I mean, that's just, you know, it's inevitable. Um, will XRP be the one? Uh, it really looks like it. You know, uh, to be honest with you, I've had my own doubt, doubts about things. Um, that I was absolutely sure about at one time, but given um, given the the outcome of things at this point, um, there's you know inevitably we're going to doubt things. But does that mean that I have sold my investment? Well, no, absolutely not. Um, it would be foolish for me to sell my uh, my holding uh, because I'm nowhere near. Uh, even my dollar cost averaging, I'm not, I'm, I'm, well, I'm not at that point, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm below that. So I'm not going to sell my holdings at this point because I'm not going to lose. And then on top of that, you know, I, I can't begrudge anyone who does have to, you know, we're all in different situations in our lives at this point. This has been a very, very difficult, uh, last, you know, month, month and a half, uh, for everyone. We're all in different spots. Um, if it if that means that you can only hold on to a thousand or five thousand XRP, guys, you have to do what is going to do you know the best for you and your family. I wouldn't worry about what what anybody has to say. I don't you know I wouldn't worry about someone else having you know a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand XRP. Um, it really uh, that that's that really doesn't matter. Um, I personally think that at some point, you know, it could be in the next year, two years. I don't know. At one point, I did think that it was going to be a lot sooner, you know, possibly this year. But uh, it looks like that will likely not happen. Uh, so it might be definitely a long haul that, uh, you know, where we're waiting for XRP to do anything. And uh, also, I mean... 
I think what's wise is to diversify. I know I'm diversified in several different things. That I've, I'm taking this time uh, to actually um, get as diversified as possible because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. I mean, who knew this whole thing was going to happen? Who knew the, the whole world was going to shut down? I mean, come on. If Honestly, if someone had told me in uh, that in, you know, in October that the whole world would shut down, I, I wouldn't have believed it. So uh, at this point, guys, we are basically in survival mode. We're going to have to do the wise thing for, uh, you know, for ourselves. I mean, that that fits what we need in our lives. So again, um, definitely, guys, I am praying for everyone, this whole situa situation. And, um, you know, there hopefully there isn't too much suffering going on. I, and if you are, uh, I am definitely sorry for you uh, and my you know, my sympathies go out to you guys. Um, so, uh, again, we do know what's behind this. Uh, it is the current situation that people are, you know, are leaving, you know, because, like I said, they need the money or they've just given up. And can you blame anyone for giving up at this point? You really can't. Um to be honest with you, only the most die-hard uh, people are going to be left holding on to XRP. Very, very, probably very few people. Um, and I, I, I do believe that was the, the design. That was the plan uh, for some time. I mean, who knows for how long, uh, but um, it is what it is. I mean, uh, thankfully, though, we still have a lot of people out there uh, you know, putting out the great content like Ari, um, she has been, I mean, definitely um, a, a mainstay, a, uh, a, an anchor in this community who has provided just much needed information. She's really about the only person I, uh, I, I really kind of listen to. And uh, I do have to say another person who has been putting out you know, just a stream of content, I think, is uh, the working money or something like that. <clears throat> uh, I really don't um, watch his channel very often, but I, I'm, I'm still subscribed to him. So I get notifications all the time. And he, he's constantly putting out content, and which is great. I mean, um, we, you know, a lot of us still need that. I know me personally, I don't, I don't need, I'm already pretty convinced that XRP is going to, um, it's going to uh, blossom, um, and to be honest with you, sometimes, well, not sometimes, at this point, I really don't want to see anything about it. I've already made up my mind. I'm keeping my investment, and at whenever it, whenever it happens, it happens. Um, I'm not having to look at it co continuously to be encouraged. Um, at this point, like I said, it's an investment, just like all my other investments that I've been uh, fortunate enough to get involved with so um, besides that guys um, just I have to stress always think critically about everything that you see the the world is not or, or I'll say this the people that are running this world are definitely not um, all about your best interests okay um, in fact, uh, my research shows that um, all of these things that are happening were meant to <laughs> be kind of a negative influence on us. Uh, if, I, if I can say that, you know, I'm just saying that very lightly. But, uh, but yeah, so um, I would definitely encourage you guys to research as much as possible. Um, I've also said many times in the past that we are um, due for a major shift, and that is coming soon. Um, but before you, before anything good, something really, really bad has to happen, and that's what we're going to. And it may even get worse. I mean, uh, it's hard to say right now. Um, I've seen so many things get thwarted, um, but 
who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? To be honest, and and also, guys, um, I have never, you know, I haven't historically been like Republican or anything like that. Now, I'm, I don't, I don't really go in for the whole uh, left-right paradigm. But um, I have to say that when it comes down to it, if I'm just being honest, uh, I've been following a lot of what Trump has to say. Okay. Now, yes, he is part of the left-right paradigm. However, I got to tell you, in all the time that I have been conscious enough to even pay attention to what uh, politicians or presidents have to say, he actually has made the most sense out of all of them. And what I mean by that is he's speaking to the actual issues. Okay, He's not just saying uh, feel-good things. He's speaking to the issues that are actually happening, things that would never have been talked about uh, by any president. Okay, So I like that. Uh, just being honest, I've been following it, or rather following him, just listening to what he has to say. And guys, um, you know, like I said, I like it. Um, we'll see how things turn out. I'm uh, still doing my due diligence and, and keeping up with everything. But all in all, uh, all I can do is just encourage you guys to do the same thing. Um, so that's really about all I have to say, guys. I know, again, I have been absent for some time now. I know it's been three weeks to a was it the my last video was on uh, March 17th so it's been uh, definitely a month solid month since I have uh, uh, put out any content and I again I have to I definitely have to apologize but um, I thank all of you who have uh, stuck around and you know remained uh, subscribed I, I definitely have to thank you guys so if you haven't done so already Make sure you hit that hit that subscribe button and also click that like button as well as the post notification button. So, you know, when I post it again, even if it is in another month, <laughs> which it won't be until next time. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourself. And God bless.